Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. The word failure popped in my head, and I don't know how many of you are dealing with that or how many of you have not been able to forgive yourself for falling short. But remember, the word says all fall short of the glory of God. So when you fall short, when you fail, mm -hmm, when you don't meet the mark, that doesn't mean it's time to give up. God does not want you to give up. I know people who have taken the bar time and time again, and it may take them once, twice, three, four, ten times. But once they take it, there's that one time because they didn't give up where they were able to fulfill their dream, pass the bar, and function as an attorney. It doesn't matter how many hurdles you have to get over. What matters is that you don't allow the hurdle to sit you down and put you in neutral. Don't park your behind on failure street. Don't set your sights on give up avenue. You have to keep pressing in. Jesus talked about importunity, which is another word for persistence. Tenacity, mm, relentless drive. You must be determined to push forward no matter what, no matter what they think about you, no matter what they've said about you, no matter what they don't expect of you. It's none of their business. This is you and God. That's all that counts. And God will get you there if you stay on the ride. If you bail out, that's on you. But do not bail. You can fail but do not bail and you will make it. Okay, it's coming to my mind like this. You may fail, but don't bail. If you don't bail, you will prevail. Okay, sorry, that's the way it came. Maybe you'll remember it that way. But I, I am really trying to encourage you in that because God honors tenacity. God respects tenacity. That's why Jacob got blessed. He was first called a supplanter because he would nothing would stop him from going after his goal, even though he didn't do it that well. But because he was not one to give up, and as he wrestled with the angel, and the angel said, let me go, and he said, no, I'm not letting you go till you bless me. That got a blessing from God that other people might not have gotten because they might have just given up the fight. But he would not. He was relentless. Have that attitude. No. See, that's why you have to read the word. You have to talk to God about your destiny, about your future, about your calling, about your purpose. You want to make sure that you are pressing in to that mark, to the bullseye that God painted for you. If God painted that bullseye, baby, it is for you. And no devil in hell, <coughs> no failure <coughs> can stop you. Only you can stop you from prevailing beyond the failing. Okay, anyway, God bless you. Be encouraged and use this year to exercise the tenacity God has placed within you. God bless you.